a orange one here so we are going to continue exploring this lab and i think that's basically what we're going to do today it's you know going to be a, a little bit of just rng and seeing what uh she he gives us i don't know i don't feel like i should be gendering rng <laughs> sorry <laughs> um let's see yeah i think I kind of, I, I'm feeling a pool to go kind of like to the side here. Uh, wait, what was that? <laughs> I like the, the item description there. That's pretty funny, man. Whoever wrote that. I'm a fan. Uh, sure, let's have some frozen fish. I think that our character's a little hungry. Um, let's see what else do we have here? Eh, not a whole lot. Okay, what's this? Barracks. Okay, yeah, let's check that out. Yep. Oh, hello. Why don't you come over here? You're fast. Um, do I have my- I do have my gun. That wasn't so bad. I, oh wow, okay, nice. And we got a full round of that gun. Ooh, some food, first aid kits, I'm liking it. I really just kinda wanna see his CBMs. Oh, what's this? We got another bio-operator, okay. I think though, because we're in a cold lab, we're gonna need to be careful about that. Because, like, 42 minutes is a long time in game now. Is there anything else around here? No? Oh, man. That one's basically full gun as well. Okay, well, we're going to have to take one of these corpses. At the very least. Is that... Um... It looks to me like that tile is, like, goggles. It's, oh, it's, it must be the ballistic glasses. That is probably what it is. Oh, Kevlar Hulk. Um, I don't want to tango with you. Can I get out of here, please? Yes, I can. Um, well, let's go ahead and definitely grab that. Nope, never mind. Um, let's definitely grab you, and we'll come back for the rest. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll come back for those barracks. Oop, don't run. This could be kind of annoying, but I think that we want to... Okay, let's see. If I want to go... I, I, th I can't remember where we came from. I would do the quick walk order command thing, but I, I honestly don't know where we came from. Oh. Sure, let's get the gun out. There we go. They're dead. Uh, and then where's the exit? It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? It was around this fant, I think. Okay, yeah, I see. I see stairs. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Turn that off, so we don't really need that right now. Hello. I'm sure we'll reload. There's tons of bullets right back here, yeah. So I don't know. Um, there was also, I think I... Now I've got tons of battery power. Did want to repair a little bit. There was some, one other thing. Oh yeah, the battery power for our thermal suit. Yep, that sounds good to me. Get back in here, huh? Actually, hold on. We need to do the dissection. Um, is he gonna try and smash this corpse if I try and dissect it back here? 
Wait, hold on. I don't have the corpse. Never mind. Oh, man. Did I seriously not bring the corpse with me? That's really annoying. Um, I know where we were, though. <laughs> Let's also maybe smash this gate down a little bit. Oh, our friend came with us. Oh, did that just... Did I just open it by smashing it? Hold up. What? I did not realize that's how that worked. I guess when you smash those, they open up for you. Uh, Harvey, I actually do not want you coming with me right now. I'd like you staying here. I don't know how you path through to there. But we're going to keep you up here. And I'm going to go get that corpse and then dissect it. Um, wherever it was. Because now I can't exactly remember where that corpse was that I just put down. I might have to look back at the footage. Is it here? Yes, it is here. Okay. Cool. Good. I w I'm glad I didn't have to go back. That would have been really annoying. Yeah, these CBMs could be really good. Is you know, I, I know that I'm trying to find mutagen, and that's like my primary drive right now. But this could also be very, very, very good for us. Yeah, I think I want to be doing this in here because I can get the light, and it's like free energy. Yeah, he, he'll stay there, right? Yeah, he's not going to come over here because we're in the car. Go ahead, dissect this corpse. Let's see what we can get. And between this and the other bio-operator, we got to get something, right? Metabolic interchange. I mean, that's okay, that CBM. I kind of like that one. That might be a good one to give, like, a an NPC. You know? We're gonna just close that, and we're gonna go get our seconds. Can I actually turn on my flashlight and then just like I'm just gonna quick save this because I'm not sure how this is gonna work. But if I say like walk me over there, yeah, no, that didn't work. <laughs> Too many ants, you know. There we go. What about now? That kind of worked, right? Now, I want to go here. Can't reach that destination. I don't see why not. <laughs> Is it just because we hadn't gone through those doors? Like, what's, what's the deal? Um, the other bio-operator was in the room, right? Actually, is this why I think it is? I think that this is the type of gun that we need, actually. What is this loaded with? 0.308s. It might not actually do enough to actually hurt them. Let's try and lure them, though. We can at least lure them out of the, the area that I want to be in. Uh, 24 is actually pretty good. question is, will that be enough? I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. It might be enough. That's yeah, we go fully precise from there. And we're getting like full chance of headshots at that range, so I might as well. Okay, actually, it looks like we got this. Nice, okay. Well, that gun proved to be worth it then. Very cool. Fire would be great. I'm sure it would be. Let's uh, stop running. Um, we could probably have that running. That will probably cause us less pain. I mean, I would like to get these items as well, 
But for now, we'll just go for this. And we'll come back and we'll probably check out that barracks. I think... Oh, man. A heartbeat. Oh, wrong way there. Very cool. You know, I gotta say that the the labs have changed so much in the brief time that I've known this game. They have gotten the most love, and I really do like that environment. I think they did a really nice job with it. So thank you. I, I think it was I am Irk, but it could be someone else that was working on that. Um Dissect, we'll see what we get. Right, at least I've got the good CBM for doing dissections, right? Kerblam. Uh, that's concerning. Uh, the advanced power swords, that's kind of nice. It's like a legit good one. Oh, hold on. Alright, I think that that should be good. I did want to check out barracks, but what was that explosion? You know? There's some sort of explosion down below us. It wasn't here, was it? And the one thing is that it could be up north. Oh, there's some down, down arrows right to our left there. We might want to take that. Before I go up there, we we're going to check out that barracks. There could be like... I don't know, power armor stuff in there? I actually don't think I've ever f found power armor gear in this place, even though it's like the more logical of a place to put it, you know? Oh, that gun um, tile messed with me because that looks like what our old gun used to look like, you know? Uh, let's see... I like how they broke down those doors for me so I could easily check that. I'm honestly just also a little bit curious as to what, um... I can't believe that we're still carrying that pistol around. Oh look, nice. Some flechette rounds, I'll take those. Sure. I kinda wanna just see the martial arts books, cause those can be really, really good. Um, can I carry both of those? I don't know why we were not able to carry both. Firearm safety. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Nothing. Okay. And the firearm safety, I would imagine, is, like, a very basic book. Yeah. Smokeless gunpowder? Really? They teach you how to make smokeless gunpowder in the firearm safety book. Like, this is what you shouldn't be shooting with? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Magazines. Okay. Lock disabled. There is a turret, though. Is that... It's not the worst of turrets. What do we have in here, though? Just some beef tacos. BFG shell. There's a BFG shell in there. That's insane. Um, I mean, I am intrigued, but not worth it. If I close the flashlight, I might be able to shoot the turret in the dark is what I'm thinking and that would give me access to all this stuff though like I said I don't really need any of it you know I think I'm gonna go for it though or no can I not see the turret I thought I'd be able to see the turret but it looks like I can't. Um, 
unless I do something like that and then like drop the flashlight down. Right? I could do something like so. And then if I do that, can I shoot him from here? If I try and stand here or there. No, I'm not getting a good angle. Um, that will work though. All right, some angles, people. It's all about the angles. I'm gonna go auto on it. Yep. That, that did the trick. <laughs> Oh man, I love it. That actually was... I, I'm pretty proud of that. I thought that was pretty clever there. Um, like I said, we don't need any of this stuff, but... I'm just kind of curious as to what they had. Anything up here that I really want? And there's a compact magazine? Huh. I haven't seen that before. Why would you want that? Is it just like it can fit in more things? I suppose you could fit that in like a little pocket. I mean, we have so many bullets that like that's the one balance problem that we have right now. Sorry, wrong button. Is that uh, like I just got thousands of bullets like for free essentially from a turret just like a few minutes ago. So like. I have very little to no motivation to pick up any more firearms in the short term, at least. I know. Let's be real. Effectively forever. Oh, guard cyborg. Uh, hello. Can you shoot? Acquiring target. That makes me feel like they can shoot. And if they can shoot, they didn't shoot, which is kind of weird. Oh. Whoops. Still on auto. Don't really need that. <laughs> Apologies for your ears. Um, where's your ombre? Hello? If I read their description, what does it say? It does have some sort of gun arm thing going on with it. Acquiring target. Please don't kill me. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get some stuff between us so that if it does shoot that, yeah, I'm kind of further away because a double barrel cannon sounds like a shotgun to me. That's all I'm saying. You gonna... Yep, I can shoot you now. We'll go into semi-auto. Yeah. Cool. Aw. It's final resting place. Uh, what's that? Depression blues. Yeah, not really what I'm looking for. And honestly, the bandages aren't even that appealing. How's my battery power? About halfway down. Yeah, that's the thing is this cold lab, it's just so hard to explore for very long, you know? Okay, so. The prison guard. Oh, southwest and above, you hear a huge explosion. That's weird. Are we just tripping? Like, that could just be like a hallucination, you know? Not necessarily real. Yeah, thought that was just a random syringe just in the back of that room. No big deal, guys. Okay, what's this? Oh man, first aid handbook. Okay, shame. Autoclave. If I needed one, that would be a really good find, but we don't really need one right now. Uh, barracks. Okay, uh, sure. Hack into the system. Can I just? 
not listen to music for a little bit and just wait by this door. Let's just wait, like... Yeah, um... Okay. Looks like there's a Kevlar zombie. That is something I can easily handle. But something I would like to... Okay, we do actually have our gun out. Okay, I think that... Yep. I have a good feeling they'd be right there, but it's okay. I can handle them. I've got so many doors, you know, at our disposal. Oh. Did I just shoot, like, a light or something? What was that that I just hit? It will just start losing our aim a little bit, unfortunately. Go, you're down. Just a taser. No gun from you. It's a shame. Okay, my cat was just being friendly. She was just plopping down by my feet. I wasn't sure I felt some paws on my feet. And if you feel paws on your feet, that should give you a cause to pause yourself. Right? Um, bayonet manual. I mean, that could give us a little bit of piercing, but that's not really a concern of mine. Piercing, we, like, you don't really use that weapon type, like, hardly ever, you know? God, these barracks are, like, so good in terms of, like, mid-game stuff. There's, like, just so much military gear in that room. Like, if you can lure the zombies out of here... Secure that, it's pretty sweet. Magazines. Um, sure, unlock the entrance. And it's the same deal as last time, no. Oh, there's actually a hazmat one as well. I'm just also curious about what else they have. Again, it's not anything that I, I'm, like, particularly in love with. Oh, a man hack. It's fleeing? From me? Um, okay. Let's see, anything in here where I just absolutely need it? Not really. Okay, well then. I think... We'll go up from there. I know it seems like... Oh, whoa, what? What, what is with all that gore on the ground there? Scraps of flesh. A zombie. Gross. Very gross. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. But, oh my gosh. It, it was... That was... Like, why is this bear just standing in gore? Somebody needs to uh, report that. <laughs> um, okay, so there's that room. This kind of along the edge we've explored. Same with that. Okay, so we kind of have explored uh, down below us as much as we can, I believe. We should maybe go up now. And we can kind of clear out this side then. And we don't have much uh, energy in our thermal suit, so we'll have to turn around eventually. Yeah, I think that there's got to be some sort of up or down here. There's a down right there. Okay, let's, let's do that. We'll go down first. Or was that where I was? I think that I have kind of explored some area and then I was like, nope, don't go there. Um, I'm deaf apparently. Which is weird because we weren't deaf a, a minute ago. That was very strange. The thing's just so loud and chaotic. 
That was very, very bizarre. Oh yeah, there's the turret that was like able to see us from there. I remember that. That was a challenge for us. Um, I think that this room itself, though, we're in the clear. Hello, Boomer. Why don't you just come over here? It's fine. There we go. Don't need to get boomed on. Were they just like spitting at ants? Is that why there was just bile all over the wall? Pretty sure that's what happened there. It's pretty gross. <laughs> just them missing a ton. <laughs> oh man, the ant spirit have gotten good uh, experience from that, right? A few levels. In case you didn't know, that's all a really overpowered way of leveling up your, um, which we'll call it your dodge skill if you get one of those spitters and if you trap them. I think like Bormothrax did a tutorial on this. I don't know if it's still the case, but it used to be. If you like trap them in like a bear trap and they just keep on spitting at you, you can just kind of like do that forever. It's pretty insane and overpowered. What is that? Oh, there's some serums in there. Remember Night Stalker? I don't want to shoot you there because I might hit the serums. I'd like to kill you for sure. Oh. Nice, so we just dodged it. It just tried to like grab me from afar. If you look at the message log. There we go. Not too bad. I am down to 20. 20 bullets. Just pick those both up. Thank you. I'd rather be able to craft my own. Ooh, Bionic Vault. Yeah, um, sure. Let's send the manifest. Uncanny Dodge. That's pretty good. Uh, can I unlock? Sure. Nice. Hey, we unlocked it. No, those CBMs are not in there. They're, like, on this floor. I always get irritated by that. I kind of know what to expect, but it's still annoying. Oh, yeah, we also need to go back to our base and check up on that, huh? Haven't done that in a long time. Okay, we've really gone really far out. This lab is huge. Look at this thing. This really stretches out. Especially this level. I haven't seen too many downward arrows. Uh, yes. Man, we were also doing a good job with the hacking. We've had like zero robots try and kill me. Um, nothing. Nothing. Tasting India? I don't recognize that book. That, that has to be new. I've been watching this Hulu show called Tasting America with Padma Lakshmi. He's like this Indian American immigrant. It's a really cool show. It's just basically all about like different ethnic groups in the US and their styles of food and like f American fusion of said food. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Can I see what's in there? Oh, what's this? They've got. Uh, it's a very, very, very limited cookbook. Not many recipes. That's a shame. I'm English and my mom um, grew up in parts of England that had a lot of Indian people in it. So she says that like she grew up with a lot of curry and whatnot. And so she cooks a lot of that. Oh. Unauthorized access. A lethal force. Um... I mean, I got my gun. <laughs> Can I just get the, the 30 mag in there? Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully this thing, whatever pops out, doesn't kill me. Uh, Securo bots emerge from the floor. Um, no, they don't. They're on the other side. Okay, 
That's, I think, okay. Can I try again? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All right. I just tried to punch them. That was really dumb. Let's go auto. There we go. See, not so bad, right? If I don't, like, completely butcher it. Okay, well, I think I might try again, if it lets me. Okay, now we're getting electrically shocked. This bionic vault really does not want to let me in. Um, I'm going to just try one more time. Lock disabled. Hey, hooray. Okay. Um, there's definitely something on the other side, though. Hello. I kind of knew you were there. Can I just shoot it? I know it's going to shoot me, probably. Should I just take a shot now? Let's get it so I can at least know I'm going to hit. It's it's beeping at me. Take that. Okay. It's down. Good. It is down. The king is dead. As they say, yay, uncanny dodge. And we got the finger lighter if I wanted it. I don't think I do, though. But we got Uncanny Dodge. That's really what I was going for. It's a really nice CBM um, that we currently don't have. And it would help with dodging bullets, like in that situation. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.